So what do we got going on today? The pizza or the car? Yeah, start that. with the pizza. So right here we have uh, macaroni and cheese and bacon, because you can't go wrong with that. No. Nope. Your regular pepperoni, and then the plain guys for the plain. And then we got uh, a UFO McLaren. Yep. Dazas and Dominoes, Anthony. Dazas and Dominoes. Even though we didn't really, it just sounds better. We really didn't get Dominoes. We actually got some good pizza. So we have uh, we have a couple so RS3s Anthony, and TTRSs. Anthony with the red one right here has been waiting three months. Yep, three and a half months. Three and a half months for my ass to get his car done. Tonight's the night Ant gets his car back. So instead of him just getting his car back, I invited a couple people up and see, you know, if people want to run their cars to see what horsepower they're making. So I called it Dazas and Dominoes. It was really just for him to get his car back. But in reality, uh, why not? And just invite other people that have five cylinders to see, you know, what the platform could push, um, what your stage one gets you, what you have got a couple stage two cars, uh, what your stage two plus cars you get, full bolt-on cars. Um, and then Ant decided to do a turbo. And then, uh, you know, this winter build the motor and go, Big turbo. So tonight we're gonna run them on the dyno. Yeah. Um, pretty much all of them are gonna go on the dyno right now. Tyler's yeah, TTRS so right now is on. TTRS on the dyno. And Ant, the monster, is gonna be last. So let's go. Let's go check out the boys. So like I said, we're gonna start with Tyler's TTRS. It's on the dyno now. Yeah. So Tyler's TTRS is on the dyno now. Um, last time he was on the dyno, I think he made. 425 so right now we just added the intake updated the tune and add um the apr uh inlet so we're gonna see what he gains off that last time ant was on the dyno he made 450 wheel i believe yep um stage two so obviously now uh when it gets on the dyno i'll explain everything we did and we're gonna we're gonna all make our guesses on what this is gonna make and we're gonna see what's done to your car your so my car basically has a um stage one flash and that's it i just bought the car and flashed it it doesn't really have anything done um so we'll see what it makes you know yep mm -hmm. That's a wee bit loud, boys. Tyler's TTRS. Tyler made 42420 pretty much. Um, so basically it's UM stage one with APR in, uh, intake that we just did. We're running the stock intercooler. Um, so he has to get an intercooler and then, you know, bump up the power. So what we could do is pretty much me and Tyler are running the same tune. I have absolutely no parts on my car. And you're, Tyler has, You're just flashed. I literally have no parts on my car, I'm just flashed. And we're running the same tune. Um, same DSU software, same DCU software. And then Tyler has the intake inlet. Cat back. So we might see a difference. So he's got a four inch intake uh, turbine. Yeah, he has the inlet. Yeah. yeah, that's what I need. The inlet's a huge difference. So I mean, if he made 420, I gotta be. These cars make like 350, 360 stock. Okay. Um, he's gotta be. I gotta be at like 405. Not bad for a stage one flash tune. Is it possible? Yeah. Okay. What do you have? RS3. What is, what is <laughs> uh, intercooler, intake, downpipe, and tune. So full bolt I want to tune. Whose tune are you running? Uh, DS1. Okay, so let's see DS1. Is, is it DS1. pro tune or is it just a map off DS1? Um, yeah, a, a Darren, Darren. Okay. He messed yeah. with it, but it's not like a full custom code. Okay, yeah, so one of the best. Very good things about this. All right, so, so, so far this is the second Daza on the dyno. So right here we have, uh, we have Tyler. Yep. And we have Tom. Oh, let's fix that. Tyler, what color do you want to be, honey? <laughs> <laughs> right Tyler, pink. what color? Right pink. pink. All right, pink. Yeah. Tom, what color? Oh, uh, blue. All right, so we have Tom in blue so far and Tyler in pink. So we have Tyler. We told you about his car. He's running um, intake, uh, UM, ECU, GCU, um, the new APR intake with the inlet. 
And then Tom, I don't know anything about your car, but it just made 5.30, so why don't you tell us about it? Um, <laughs> I, so it's intake, there's no inlet, because I stripped that screw. And so Tom made 5.30 on a stock <laughs> inlet. <laughs> so, um, downpipe and intercooler. And so downpipe, intercooler, intake. Basically the same mods. Which intercooler? Same uh, mods. Unitronic. Unitronic, okay. Yeah. I couldn't find one of those. They were, they were, um, but I'm this like is, very surprised. This is tuned by That's me. Darwin, right? Kind of. <laughs> so I got him to get rid of the check engine light for my cat. So, so Tom's a method with it himself um, on DS1 software. So DS1 software, as everyone knows, like it is pretty much, you know, it's very good for the Dazas because the capability of what you can do, you know what I mean? Like your, uh, your ethanol content now, instead of your horsepower and torque gauges, it tells you your ethanol content. Um, the guys that created DS1 are just very knowledgeable. Um, in that, but you have to find remote tuners all the w over the world who's doing it, you know um, who, What tuner you want to use and yep. stuff like that. I'm impressed. It's a platform nice. 500 and what? I don't know. 530 he pretty much. So made. is that oh, like a 530 wheel? Do you adjust wheel. that? Or th oh, that's straight wheel. So there, there's that's like drive train. Wheel. I mean if you want to add 15 per if you want to add like 15 to 18 percent for um, so what you're making crank so you know? like 600 horsepower that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Now, as you guys see, like everything coming in here, how you guys all just hit, like right at three thousand, your guys, your boost is climbing. Everyone's climbing. When we get to later on, and we get Ant's car on the dyno, and it's pretty much gonna be like this. <laughs> Do you know, it again. So, <laughs> 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 so basically, his turbo lag is crazy, yes. but all the way to redline, he's gonna be making power. All right. So quick. where these see see these start to die down. See, Tyler start to get flat, and Tom started to die down, and Serbo will just keep going to AMC. So to I notice, AMC, you know? I'm noticing a, <laughs> a trend with uh, the tuners with the torque. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Torque pretty much, you know, it hits, and then it... Stock turbos, they kind of just, it'll stay there, you know? actually have, um, John's coming down. He lives about an hour and a half away. He has um, a dark blue RS3. I'm pretty sure he's running... Um, IROS 1000 kit, he's tuned by between Unitronic and IROS, Hank. So um, once he gets down here, you know, we'll see if we can break the dyno with his car, but we'll, we'll see what he's running. Um, he also, he has that car, RS3, it's a beautiful color. He also has a TTRS getting dropped off on the 29th. That's getting custom tuned by UM. He did a IMS 850 kit. So he did an IROS 850 kit on his TTRS, um, fully built motor by Redline Speedworks. So um, that's going to get tuned by uh, United Motorsports. It'll hop on down and you guys see what that makes. But it's not here with us tonight. The motor just got in and it's running. Um, but he is bringing his RS3 here tonight. He's about an hour away. So by the time oh, wow. we're done with a couple more cars. He's got um, an RS4 Avant. He has an RS. Yeah, he has an Avant. He has, he's an Audi guy. <laughs> they're snug. But they're not locked. So if I started, I would have died. <laughs> <laughs> So you made 442. What do you have done to it one more time? Um, 034 93 stage one. Yep. Uh, Wagner Evo one intercooler. Okay. Uh, three inch intake by 034 closed top yep. intake and they're straight pipes. They're um, cat delete pipes. Basically. Okay. Yeah, not bad. No, not bad. 442? Yeah. 438 wheel torque. Yeah, nice conservative tune. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I think they advertise around 60, 60 horsepower gains, 60, 70 horsepower. So that's because these make like 370-ish. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, so that's about right. Yeah, not bad. Not for not a lot of work. No. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> so we got your car on the dyno now. You can loosely strap this car. Do I even need to strap it? It's probably gonna make 315. 315. Stock airbags, what do you have done? 
I have nothing done. Yes, you have every, a stage one flash tune. I have every single stick on that ABT makes. Everything ABT <laughs> I have everything, every single thing that ABT makes with no performance part. <laughs> this is Bone Sock. I just bought it like two months ago. This is Bone Sock. It just has a UM flash. Um, it made 340 or 350 sock. So we'll see what the tune made, you know? What are you strapped to? You just your control arms? Just control arms, yep. Don't stop at the tune. With just a tune. Wow. It's not very much. Dude, but do you see how small this thing is from the fat? Like, oh my god. <laughs> you know? Like, an intake definitely helps. I don't know, so, Tyler, if we put such a big... We put that thing... Yeah, if you huge. watch today's ACI video, I took my hand up to here, <laughs> and I put it in his inlet and touched the turbine wheel. That's how big it is. United Motorsports? Yeah, UM Stage 1. Ne uh, Tyler, so, what are you tuned by? UM Stage 1. UM Stage so, 1? What I wanted, yeah, but see, here's the different parts though. This is bone stock, right? So like stock, all, everything stock. We might have put such a big intake on Tyler's car that it's like, it's so much air, like the turbo, not that I can't handle it, because turbo's like that. Yeah. But it's like, almost like I can't handle it. You know, <laughs> Chris's car, he's running the same tune as me, um, but he has a downpipe on his car and same in intake and same inlet stock, everything right. No. Turbo inlet from APR. He has the not, inlet too, but not the bigger one. So you have the in, you have the well, inlet. I have the, I have the actual carbon tube, and then I have the inlet. The inlet. Okay, so you don't have you have the stock box. Yeah. Okay, so Chris is running the stock box with the intake. We should do Chris's car because basically it's. Oh, what do you have? He has this car, this tune, with everything I have, but plus a downpipe in it, in lit. Okay. So basically, it would be like basically putting a APR inlet on this car and a downpipe on it, a downpipe on it, and see if we go from four thirty seven to what? Like four forty five, like some gains. Do, we could do um, John's RS three and then Ants. All right. What do you have on that? It's TP seven hundred two. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> but who is it tuned by? You and Johnny. Okay. So is one, it of the, one of the best? No, it's on pump. Really? All right. So yeah, but, I mean. Basically, we're gonna see what. Yeah, this is gonna be nice because this is gonna be, this is gonna be Ann's car. Where's Ann? Probably Maybe taking a. Up. Yeah. This is gonna be his car, tuned by Unitronic, which is you know one of the best um, for this platform with the TT seven hundred. And then we're gonna go to the TT seven hundred same turbo on Ann's car, which UM had for two months. Okay. So. I mean, listen, I'm not going to lie. His transmission feels absolutely insane. Yeah. Like, they did an amazing job training, but we'll see what it makes. Um, and then, uh, you ever have your we have Brett. No. Brett has an A3. And we're going to end the night with Brett's A3 with a four-cylinder, and we're going to see what he makes. <laughs> Quick halftime show. Have you ever had a car blow up on the dyno? Yeah. A B5S4. Yes. And where does <laughs> what happens when all the oil goes down into the dyno? What do you do? What's the procedure? Bryce charges the customer triple. Uh, like 150, like dyno thing. Yeah. Your bill comes out to like 600 bucks because of the time that he takes everything apart, has to clean everything. It's gnarly, but it does. We have never had one. Oh my god, I don't want to say this right <laughs> now. Because we're, done, because we're gonna curse the night. We're done. You are done. End conversation. <laughs> Silly 
Rabbit Motorsports? What is this? Um, he has charge piping, intakes, um, obviously a catch can. He has an eye rod. So this right here, this is a DSG, a DSG catch can, which is really nice. So um, back, back when the RS3 and the TTRS first came out, um, my old boss over at the shop, he, uh, he bought a TTRS and he was launching it a whole bunch of times, stuff like that. I opened the hood and there's just like oil like everywhere. I'm just like, oh, you bought a lemon. But <laughs> in reality, the DSG, um, it, it has a, it's like a breather, kind of like a rear diff. So yeah. like when you launch it, the access fluid, um, that's why IROS sells a catch can. So like when you launch your car, the fluid will come up into this instead of going all over the car. Um, so it's a really nice feature um, to have a DSG catch can. Uh, or breather, but this is a um, TT700 kit on this one too. Um, same one that we're going to be doing next on Ant's car. Yep. Um, oh yeah. so. This is a Unitronic <laughs> tune. This is a Unitronic tune. Uh, downpipes, inlet. Probably full. I mean, John, you have everything. Yeah, injectors. Yeah, everything. So very similar everything setup. Everything except the rods. Yeah, stop on then. Yeah. It's yes. Flex. It's got a flex sensor. Yeah, flex sensor. So pretty much everything you could do, except build the motor on this turbo. Okay. Okay. Um, so usually when you go 850, like like again, when you do the 800 kit, or the 850 kit, or 1000 kit, that's when you're gonna want to build the motor. But like these two guys, CT 700. APR intercooler, Unitronic tune, and those are the two biggest differences between what uh, the red car versus the blued car. And then Ant's car is gonna be. Uh, United uh, Motorsports. 1,000 horsepower capable core um, with UM tune. Uh, we don't have like this stuff on Anstar, um, like charge piping and stuff like that. Um, it could be the next mod. People do it to have like meth injection and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much same setup, just different tuners. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. What's your guess? 545. 545? 552. 552? 570. 570? 547. 547. 556. So we're averaging about 550. What do we got? Uh, 532. Did anyone make over 500? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, the kid that what left. Did that make? What did he make? 528. I go, who tuned your car? He goes, I did. I go, okay. You did. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> At least we know. Well, this one's still. Um, Wait, he tuned it? That was, yeah, that was. He, he's been messing with so DS1, you can like mess with shit, you know? Oh. So, uh, he just said he's messing with it, so like it made that. I don't know if it's safe, but he made that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and he literally has an intake. He, you know, he doesn't really have anything. Stock turbo. Stock turbo. Yeah. 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 It lasted on the dyno. I don't know how long it will last, but it lasted on the dyno. <laughs> this is a big turbo. Give me ten more. Yeah. All right. Well, we got uh, we got one car, one car left. Um, Ants RS3. 32, 532 wheel. This is on um, pump gas. So, um, you know, usually cars are, it's very hard to make over 600 wheel. Uh, it's very hard to make over 600 wheel on pump gas. So, this is making 532. Um, hopefully, Ants, we can get closer to that 600 number, but we'll, we shall see. RS, whee! here Nick All right. so what did you do to this with United Motorsports um, I changed the oil and uh, <laughs> Ant wants to build the motor and he wants a thousand horsepower I don't have the time for that right now so what we did is for now to get him by through the winter we did a TTE 700 um, we did uh, merit fuel injection um, custom injectors that Jeff spec'd out that he wanted for tuning 
Um, we have a flex sensor. We're not running flex right now. We have an intake. Um, I don't recommend. He doesn't like it either. But it, I mean, it does its job for now. Oh, 34 Motorsports. Um, we have uh, an inlet. Um, and then um, what we did is, you know, downpipe, you know, full bolt on. But full bolt on. The thing with this is, and a lot of, you know, it got a lot of love on my Facebook post. A lot of tuners didn't believe it. Where basically um, the intake air temps were so high with the APR cooler out, like, outflowing this intake. Um, and no one could believe it. But I don't know why, because, like, the data is right there in front of us, you know. So what we did is um, we took off the bumper. Um, I asked my friend uh, James from Cast Performance over in New Jersey to weld up me a thousand wheel horsepower core intercooler. Um, we went from 53 Celsius Celsius to about 15 to 20 Celsius. So there's a huge difference, you know, when it's really really hot, we're maxing out at like 25 Celsius. So this and thing can just keep pulling and pulling thing, and pulling. This thing was, it's better for tuning wise and it's safer. And when this thing was hot with the APR cooler, we were at like 50, 53 Celsius. Um, so the biggest things is the cars that we saw, like the last one, it's also a TTE 700 turbo, but that's a Unitronic tune. This a Unitronic tune, the other one. This five, took three, a while, but this is a custom United Motorsports yeah, tune. So basically, this was like, so basically you put that TT700 on and you just, John said, oh, I have the TT700, the Unitronic just has a flash that they just flash the car and he got what he got, you know? Yep. Now with dealing with custom tuning is it's not just, oh, here's a TT700 tune for your car. Um, so it was tuned per car. So, you know, there's countless hours on the dyno knowing, you know, between mods and stuff that he has and stuff um, to get the tune right, you know, per intercooler, per this, per that. Um, so everything was custom with tuning wise in uh, D D DSG as well. Um, yeah. The DSG is absolutely night and day compared to mine and top. Everyone here that was UM tonight, um, the amount of time and effort that they put into this transmission tune, they're going to now be carrying it around carrying it over to all their UM uh, DQ500 customers. So everyone's gonna be getting an update now because of this car. This car's transmission is night and day. You know, this car might make over 500 wheel, which it will, but it drives like it's bone stock. You just took it off the lot, the transmission wise. Um, so the transmission file, they really took, they really took their time and effort, but um, we should uh, see what it makes. All right, let's do it. This is gonna be bad. That's loud. I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm nice. Nick, yeah. make sure you wear your seatbelt when you get in there, all right? Same shit. 469 and 467. Literally the same horsepower and torque coming out of that turbo from two different turb uh, tuners. So the red, as you can see, it like the red, his mid range, like pretty much from down low to about 5,000, him and United Motorsports are about the same. Once mid range comes in, he does have like a 20 wheel horsepower, 30 wheel horsepower jump right here. Um, mid range, but that just might be them to, like dialing in the torque curve. So I'm gonna give five horsepower to the fucking charge plate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give five horsepower to that charge plate. It just goes to show you though, it's can 
consecutive, like both cars, same engines, same mods, same turbos. We don't see one making 100 with a horsepower more than the other one, you know? Um, you know, Unitronics, top on the game, um, and UM was five horsepower less. Um, and Johnny has, you know, he has a couple more parts. Not many, but he has a couple more parts. But um, I don't know, we could do, we could do charge pipes on ants next. And um, you have the big inlet on yours, right? What else do you have? Um, APR. Yeah, that's the big one on mine. This 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 one is kind of not kind of like stock, but it's not. Um, we could change the inlet and the charge pipe, and I bet it's top game. You know, for Daza's to break six hundred wheel, E eighty five is a must. Very hard, yeah. Like Brett, um, Brett, get in this. You had you had to add a lot. You had to add a lot of E to break six, right? Yeah. Like, you have to like. You have to. Even United, you know, they called me tonight. They knew this was going. They said that this car made um, 547 on their dyno. Um, so if it made 547 on their dyno, it would make 530 tonight on mine. It's hot. It's humid. I don't know. If they had a better day, it's like a dick measuring contest. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> they, yeah, they said that their car made 547. And I, and I knew that. I was just keeping it hush. Um, so if it made 547 on their dyno, I was thinking it was going to make a little bit more on mine tonight. But, you know, it's nasty tonight. Um, yeah, 95% humidity. I'm happy with it only because the same exact cars here and the same exact mods are here with one of the, you know, the top tuners in the industry. Um, and they're both, like, pretty much tie in my books, even though it's five horsepower. Um, but <clears throat> basically, to get to your point, to get to the 600, I mean, you need E. You put E in this car and it's another 60, 60 wheel, you know? Um, it's, a, <laughs> it's like 14 degrees at uh, timing... Um, I don't know if we're going to do straight E or if it's going to be like an E65 blend. Um, but pretty much you can run the same boost, mess with timing, and pick up a hell of a ton more. Um, Brett did. Brett picked up probably what, 60 wheel? Yeah. Yeah. That was just, yeah. Just on feeling. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go back to what am I, like a bone stock RS3 mint. You made uh, four twenty something. Yeah. So four twenty to what are we at? We're at over a hundred wheel. Yeah, a hundred and ten wheel. Turbo upgrade. Yeah. Okay. Or you can be like. On ninety three. Yeah. Or or you could be like that kid that me. Yeah, he just. <laughs> he made five twenty. He made a hundred wheel. For, he was messing with his own car, you know. <laughs> if you're watching this YouTube video, more power to you. Great. Nice meeting you. I want to like to hear more back from you. And I'd like to know if the car is still running. And <laughs> we would like your input. Um, I don't know him. He came down. You know, he called the shop, said we were having a Daza and Domino's night. And um, I don't know. That kid impressed me. Yeah. DS, DS1 tune, and he was messing, messing with it himself. Um, that's impressive. That was crazy. I think we have a couple more upgrades for Ant with the same tune. Kind of like maybe charge pipes and inlet. And put it on the dyno and see if we could pick up another ten or twenty. Um, overall, I'm I'm happy with it. Crank horsepower cars. This is a six hundred horsepower car. Crank. Yeah. On a dyno, there's probably 560, 580. Showing wheel values. Showing it is six twenty two. Six hundred twenty two horsepower. Six hundred twenty two horse and five sixty crank. So five eighteen is six twenty two. Yeah. I think he'll smoke a Hellcat with that. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> This is supercar territory. Zero to sixty times. Once you put that, uh, once we put in that P three. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people like um, uh, sixty to one thirties. All right, so let's see. So, so see what I mean? If we did a forty roll on the highway, you see how I'm blue? Yeah. I would get that first smack, that first jump, because my turbo is so small, it's gonna spool up a lot quicker. Yeah. And then I would get that jump all the way up to about thirty, you know, thirty five hundred RPMs, right? All of a sudden, an ant comes in and just starts freight training me up. You know, <laughs> after 4,000 RPMs, his turbo, it's fully spooled by 45. Yeah, it'll be a couple of um, zip codes. But there, as yeah. soon as we punch it, it's just, you notice that too. You notice when you drove your car, that first hit was gone. Yeah. But then on the highway, it just goes, goes, goes. Yeah. 